Hey everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as Alyssa Sentinel, the Queen of the Iron Throne. And since we lack a Sapton, I decided we're going to invade, uh, not invade, but invite a holy man to our court. There we go. And we can uh, appoint him to our council so that he can maybe, well I don't know, uh, perform some charity because this does not really make any sense. So yeah, you're going to perform some charity right here in Sentinel's Point. That's going to be good. And um... Yeah, we're gonna go forward. Uh, before we do that though, I do want to ask my husband if I could join one of his wars. Um, do you think the independence is not as important? Claiming the throne is more important. So yeah, we'll, we'll help you out. And I will also make an important character. And I will make your husband, and uh, not your husband, but your brother, no longer important. Simply because, yeah, he's not that important. You are the king now. Now, um, I've been thinking long and hard about uh, what I'm going to do with Old Stones, with Baryon Loxley, and with Seaguard. And um, I've come to a decision, or yeah, I've, I've come to a, to a conclusion as to what I want to do. Um, I might actually form an alliance here, he doesn't want to. Um, I'm going to leave things the way they are. I, I've, I've been thinking about, you know, uh, giving me claims on Old Stones and Seaguard that was actually suggested also in the comments. Uh, I could have... May I could have just imprisoned Baryon Loxley. I could have also just taken over Old Stones as the the player who has or, or the viewer who has uh, created this character, Lord Merrick. He was he, he said you know he he's happy that he's obviously the Lord of Old Stones, but uh, he would also give it up, um, you know, if I if I wanted to. Um, but I think we're gonna leave things the way they are for for a simple reason because when we gave out these titles, um, this was all. This was done by our regent, who was who then had the authority to speak in our name. That was simply the way it was. My my father Matteo trusted Baryon and thus made him the designated regent. That was the whole that was the whole reason why why he was the regent in the first place because my father trusted in him. Now he gave out these titles with the authority of the Lord. So uh, when when I give out titles to someone else, I don't get claims on that either, right? So even though we know that I didn't want to do this from from the perspective of my vassals, this was all legitimate. So if I was now to revoke these titles, it should incur tyranny. So I think um, everything is working as as intended so far. And as for Baryon, um, well, we don't know. We've been we've been screaming for guards, but they didn't arrive. And seeing as Dennis Loxley is the captain of the household guard, he might not move against his brother Baryon. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna leave the things they are. However. Uh, as Queen Alison, we are a sneaky guy. We're going to try and find a way to uh, get our stuff back. And we're also going to try and find a way to bring justice to Baryon. Because we believe that he killed our brother. But we cannot be sure, obviously. Now, um, the only problem is that this guy is very well liked. I've already had a look if I could invite more people in the faction to... Or not in the faction, but into a plot to kill him or do any other stuff. The only one who would actually join was uh, Lord Pierce Blue's Clay, uh, Blue Clay. The others just liked him way too much, so... We'll see. We'll see how, how things go. But for now, uh, let's actually continue. Nesta Lancaster, he is uh, turning into an arrogant little braggart uh, that will be cured by the Birch Talm. Pride goes before fall. The Maiden, um, he has reason to be proud. I'm just going to tell him about this. I don't really care. Let him be proud or humble. I don't, I don't mind, really. Um, but that's fine. Now, what that means, though, is I will not plot to have you. I will stop spying on you, and I will also abandon my plot to fabricate evidence of your treason, as that doesn't really do me any good. Instead, I will do the same thing with you. I will plot to fabricate treason for you. This is only 60% chance. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll think about it. We'll think of something. But for now, I think it's more important that we actually have a son. Because then we will be the king of the Iron Throne and we might not have to deal with this anymore anyways. We build modest estates. Very nice. Um, and uh, winter is coming. Or it just we, we just finished that building. Um, that's very nice. Okay, so what is this battle we're fighting here? Stonehenge Peasant Revolt, I see. And uh, my husband, you have... You have executed, I think he has executed my, uh, his brother. Wow, that's, oh no, he just died in dungeon, I see. And his other brother is Simon Connington of the Riverlands. My old Lord Paramount Boromont, no, who was the Lord Paramount? Ronald, he was slain by Garrus in personal combat. <gasps> I see. 
And Lady Paramount and Mina, despite that, died in the dungeons of King Pete as well. Why are they all dying in the dungeons? So who's the who's the Lord of the Eerie now? Paramount, Lord Paramount Wallace. I see. Now my mother still has a weak claim, but that is not. Yeah, we cannot press that anymore. Okay, and the heir is Samuel Wainwood. All right. So many uh, weird things. Well as Harding. Yeah, right. I I need you. You're important. Okay, and you are the new. You're my new liege. Mm hmm what happened to what happened to this guy hmm. messing up my important character list anyways winter is already coming to an end I don't even know what's going on my council my leaves council is discontent okay just not mine we could go into hiding because we're someone's trying to kill us and people are pissed at us for raising levies I get it I get it well uh, I guess what we could do is raise the levies of Baryon Loxley to make him uh, eventually revolt. But you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to revoke your honorary titles, as I don't think you deserve them. And I will also uh, relieve, you of my, relieve you of command. Yeah, you do not deserve to be a commander. There you go. Uh, instead, we're going to grant this title to someone else. Luke Marek. Yeah, I'm going to make you a commander instead. Yeah. Now, one thing that obviously has happened, this guy, he has advanced our colony quite a bit. He's spent his own money on that, and uh, so I think he definitely deserves something. I don't know if I really want him to keep old stones, but we'll see. What I definitely have to do is switch out my mother to actually give me a claim on old stones instead, because I don't care about Seagat that much. Old stones is more important to me. Um, so yeah, and my spy master, I want you to actually... Scheme, what does that do? Plot, plot discovery, chance. Noble encouraged to join your faction. Plot uncovered. Mm, nope, we're gonna go to Loxley Hall and see what we can do against Baryon. I have nothing against House Loxley per se, but I do not like Lord Baryon because I know what he's done to my brother. And as, as a girl, I maybe I don't know, but I have a feeling because, you know, there were a lot of accidents that just looked suspicious uh, to say the least um, okay uh, my roots are my, my roots may be veilmen but I identify more with the riverman people I rule Roman customs are superior never I'm still a veilman now since we're not particularly proud I feel like it's a better idea to just switch to the riverman culture here yes we'll do that um, I think that's just a better thing to do good and, and see is currently being besieged but we have enough defenders here Okay, Lord Ben Miller, you actually no longer... No, he's still in hiding. Okay, never mind. Now, here's the thing. We might even uh, inherit uh, Seagard anyways, because Lord Ben is in hiding. Not sure how that affects fertility. Um, it sh probably should affect fertility. I don't know, but he's depressed. So it's it's likely that he even might die before he gets to uh, produce a child, because his firstborn daughter actually uh, died stillborn. So we might inherit uh, Seagard just like that. And as for old stones... Uh, that's not gonna happen, but then we can maybe trade Lord Marek for Seagard and we get old stones instead. Um, but yeah, we shall see. For now, let's continue. The wars have subsided, I believe. You're still fighting Dawn. I would like to join that independence war. I don't know why it even stopped in the first place. Um, that would be very nice because I kind of want to see what's going on and I want to also be able to, to help you out in these battles. And uh, now these Ironborn are actually rather annoying. Uh, there we go. We're losing 55%. This is a Dornish war for independence. The Vale is fighting in this, as well as uh, Lady Sorella of Dawn. Okay. Wow, I would have not expected that. Okay, where are our forces? Where are the, the, the Crown Lander troops? Okay, 16,000. The Battle of Siga Castle has been won. Um, there's 11,000 Dornish men. They're about to get attacked in the mountains. I wonder how that is going to turn out. 16,000 men arrive in the Prince's Pass. It's basically because your septum was cornered. Okay, yeah. Um, why are you losing? Oh, that's because the rebels control all of their holdings. Once that is gone, and they've just basically they've basically sieged the Princess Pass, and the Juro of the Lady Alex of Blackwood. So many things going on, and the Dornish actually win. This might be some Dornish independence here. Who else? Maybe the Vale will get the independence as well. Um, the Stoneway, as well as Crab's Shore. And my Septon now has actually 
died of a of an infected moon. Poor guy. I just didn't. I just invited that holy man to my court. Now he died already. You know what? Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's not worth uh, having having a septon. I don't know. Um, it's just. It seems too much. The effort here. Um, for too little. Good things. Too little reward, I guess. Okay. Uh, we still have the winter modifier here, and we have high taxes. Wait, didn't it winter? Didn't it say winter would go away? Hmm, whatever. I can pray for the warrior. I don't think I want to pray for the warrior, although I'm brave. So yeah, let's let's do that. That's fine. That kind of fits. Okay, come on, husband. We need to uh, make some babies. And uh, yeah, you have a strong claim on dairy. Really? Hmm, that's interesting. While Nestor plays with the other children, you seem to favor those who are the closest of relations. I seem to do that? Or he does? Explain to Nestor how important family is. Explain to Nestor that everyone is equal. So he could either be humble, have no effect, or gain a trait family person. Nestor Lancaster. Um, you are envious. So I think I'm gonna tell you that everyone's equal. I think that fits a little bit better. Okay, you're humble as well. Good for you. Good for you. Okay, with 190 gold, we're making a little bit we're actually not making all that much, but that's probably because we are currently paying for troops for our liege. Um, I do hope that eventually we're going to win this war, otherwise Dawn will be independent. That's not going to be nice. Wow, they must have a really good commander. Wow, 77%. Now, most of this is obviously because they controlled all of their holdings. I wonder if I could do something, but I don't really want to. Now, I don't really mind this independence war. Because it's it's very likely that we'll win this at, at some point. It's just that at the moment, I, I don't want to raise my men to deal with this. Minus 40% rebels control all of their holdings. That's just so stupid. It goes up way too quickly. Okay, 16,000 men are coming. I mean, you should have just won that battle. Anyway, winter has left. We have summer again in Sentinel's Point. Very nice. And um, yeah, we're trying to do some stuff. I, I think... I'm going to plot to fabricate treason, plot to kidnap you, <gasps> I could kidnap you, I'm going to spy on you, that's for sure, and uh, hmm, I wonder what secrets you're hiding, I think, I think, I think, I think, I could plot to kidnap, 97, that's actually a high percentage, um, I think I will do that. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how that goes. I want to kidnap and I want to see what I can do with him. Okay, you want to join my plot? Yes, very nice. That's just one person though. Not sure if that's going to be enough, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, nope, I'm sure he's up to something. That is for sure. And we can apparently donate to the warrior sons and poor fellows. Does that mean that we can actually raise some holy orders? No, we cannot. Oh, but they are... I see, so they're regular... Um, mercenaries but they're very expensive wow poor fellows have a lot of light infantry and um, but they have a lot of cavalry okay my young Kurdia has finished his education this pleases me indeed he turned out to be a pretty good steward and leaves Reno has died but how's Reno does continue one member Lady Betha Reno and she's actually oh she's regularly married to Lord Ben of Seagard so how's Reno is at an end as well um, that's uh, that's too bad. Actually, is your wife even capable of producing kids? Yes, five more years. Mm -hmm. And I get to imprison Ellen Storm. She is... She wants to replace him. Yeah, we'll probably stop that anyway. Kidnap my target. What chances do we have of kidnapping our target? Mm, Sir Axel, do I want to have you as my commander? You're ruthless. You're zealous. You're reachman. Humble selfish do i want to have this guy no i think i have enough courtiers already i don't think so if i need more courtiers i have obviously tons of suggestions from you guys but yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and hmm kidnap our target yeah i don't know do i have my spy master set there yet currently loxley hall set to do that and you are in fabricating claims and old stones Okay, Blackwood has been taken over. Hmm. Alright, yeah, we will do it. 
I think we will do it. We'll try and keep them at target. Yep. Let's see what percentage of chance we have. 39% chance succeeds. Send a signal. We'll try it and see how it goes. And uh, we have succeeded with the plot to kidnap Lord Barry and Loxley. Awesome! So we ambushed Lord Barry and Loxley's carriage on a lonely stretch of road in the countryside. The guards scattered before us and one of my men blindfolded and bound Lord Barry and he's now safely locked away in my dungeon to do with as I please. Excellent! Okay, that is very excellent indeed and I feel like this just feels much better. So he will, reve he will be revealed as your kidnapped prisoner. If I exile him, Exile characters might escape with their lives, but they are forced to abdicate their titles and their wealth is confiscated. Okay, what if I reveal him? What if I what if I do that now? Um, he will be forced to abdicate to his heir. I think that's what I want to do. I'm going to reveal you. I hope that does not get make, get him out of my prison. Oh, that might actually happen. Um, let me get a quick save because I don't want that. If that happens, then I'm not going to reveal him. But yeah, let's let's just quickly auto save one whatever, um, and then quickly let me see once this actually happened. Oh my god! Yeah, I know this is very cool. Um, anyways, so there we go. Because I don't want this, to, I don't want this to go away. Um, I want you to. Oh, I could call you for trial. No, I want to reveal you, and I'm just afraid that you will be. Okay, you are not awesome. Okay, so I thought you would maybe leave my court. Okay, so I don't want to do this, but I need to exile you. I will exile you. This will increase our attorney by 20. Okay, call him for a trial. All right, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll call him for a trial. Let's do that and see what happens. And uh, hopefully, um, yeah, there's no time. There's no... No... Uh, point in spying on him. Yes. Liberian of Loxley Hall has the matter trial before the court with Lord Merrick shall oversee. I see. Okay. Um, he begins to present his defense and the court seemed captivated. Damn it. Lord Merrick stuttered and stammered. Ah. Lord Baron of Loxley of House Loxley is innocent. Innocent I disagree. I shall have his head. This is clear his mistake. Send him back to the cells. You turn your keys by 15. Lose piety. Alright. I guess I have no choice. I have no choice but to release him. Well, I think this is the best option to do because I didn't know, I didn't know about um, Baryon. I didn't know if he actually killed my my brother. Um, so I feel like this was the best way to handle this. Okay, so Baryon is now, uh, we've, we've kidnapped him, we've, we've imprisoned him, and uh, it turns out that he's actually innocent. So, okay, I think that's dealt with. Now all we need to do is maybe get a claim uh, on our Castellan and, uh, well, on Old Stones, I should say, and take over uh, Old Stones and then rename it. Okay, but I'm actually feeling much better now. This this seems like something we would do with Sneaky Guy. We've we've uh, kept kidnapped him like like we would do, and then we've been we've not done the dishonorable thing. We've called him for trial, but unfortunately, our Castellan was rather bad. I wonder if I should have should have probably picked someone who is a little bit better at diplomacy. Yeah, but oh well, that's fine. Um, you have accepted your offer. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, Dawn will be independent, as will the Veil, vale, probably, at the end of this. Uh, so I'm going to be the Queen of the Iron Throne without the Iron Islands, without Dawn, and without the uh, the Veil. Vale. So, not sure if I really like that too much. But I don't think we really have much we can do. At the moment, our estates just do not support a lot of troops. Because most of this is coming from vassals. 2,000 from vassals. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Tenton Blue Clay seeks to kill Nestor Lannister. Uh, okay, I don't really think I care all that much. We've just won a battle, actually. The Battle of Blackhaven, 8%. The rebels still control all of their holdings. Can you maybe siege something down? Where are you even going? Uh, what's what's this now? The High Septon, the Sept of Bel Belo has risen up. Wait, they joined the rebels? They must have. Yeah, the High Septon has joined the rebels. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder what the Rivalins have done. They have decided to stay neutral in this. You are the heir to Pink Maiden. I'm still the heir to Derry. Apparently, you have managed to get your wife pregnant. No? Wait, I'm... S I'm heir to Derry and Seagard. Yeah, there we go. Um, awesome. 
fine. I just need to find a way to get old stones, but that will not be in this episode. I think I'm gonna have to end right here. Uh, I'm very happy as as how things have gone right now, so um, I think, yeah, I'm probably pleased with myself. Anyways, I'm gonna have to stop right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.